the iCount portal from Technology Management allows you to offer your customers 24-7 access in a self-service fashion to their financial information and their key account details. So they can check account statements or view invoices and orders anytime, day or night, without being constrained by office hours. In order to achieve this, those customers need to be set up with access to the My Account portal. We can do this in one of two ways. We can set these users up in advance so that they have named users with an account password and login, giving them access to a company's details. Or a user can register through the website and request access, which we would then review and, where appropriate, authorise. Firstly, we will demonstrate creating an account for a user. Within the site, there's an admin area where users can be managed. In front of us, we can see there are currently two users within the system, both of which are for customer 10,000, and they are both currently authorised. The roles we won't discuss in detail at the moment, but allow you to limit what some users can see within the system. If we go to Add User, here we can create a new user for a specific customer. Once we've entered the basic details for the customer and their basic contact details, we enter their account number. At this point, we can validate this account number, and if the account number is correct, it will pull through the details from within the NAV system. I then enter the email address for the contact, their password, and confirm this password. At this point, I can review the details. To enable this contact and authorise them to access the system, I need to tick the checkbox enabled, and I need to make them an administrator to grant them the full available access. The system then checks that I've completed all the required information. Once we've saved the details, we now have a new user created within the user admin area. And we can check that they're assigned to the customer, 20,000, and they're authorised. We will then contact the customer to confirm their account is then active. They are able to log into the site and utilise all the features within the My Account portal. The second method that a user could be created within the system is if they request access. If a contact at a, a company that is an existing customer of yours wishes to request access, they simply complete their email address, check the box that says they are a new customer, and then click the button to register. This pulls up the registration page, asking them to choose a password and confirm this, and it will assess the strength of the password as they type. They need to enter their customer number and then complete their contact details. Once all of the details are completed, the new contact must tick the checkbox to say they agree the terms and conditions. At this point, they can click the button to register. As long as their passwords match, they will proceed to the next step. The user will then get a message to confirm that they've been registered with the site. After the new contact has completed their request to register, an email will be sent to a predefined email address within your company to alert you to the fact that there is a new customer requiring authorization. At this point, you can then go into the user's administration panel. The appointed person within your company would then need to go into the user admin area to review the users. Here we can see the three pre-existing users that were already authorized and the new one that's just registered with the website that is not yet authorized. If we go and edit this customer, we can review their details 
We would then make the appropriate checks with the company, check the account number, check everything is acceptable, and then authorise this account by ticking the enabled box. When we return back to the admin area to the user admin, we now see that all four of the users are now authorised to use the My Account Portal site. Once we've reviewed and authorised the account, we will contact the customer to confirm that they can now log in and use the My Account Portal 